Hey, I'm Mark, and that's Mike and his 17-year-old daughter, Nicole, her first trip out with us, and of course, Kojak. We are in the Big Frog Wilderness in the Tennessee Appalachian Mountains, heading up to the top of a mountain. I'm gonna spend a few days trekking around. Beautiful tall trees. Icicle coming out of the root of uh, the knot of that tree. Pretty cold. There's ice all on the ground. The water's just barely above freezing. Crossing another river here in a gap. It is really getting cold. It's supposed to be down in the low 20s tonight. You can See some icicles here and there on the rocks. We got another hour and 15 minutes to find a camp, and it gets dark here about five. Well, we found our first campsite. Not much further, longer before dark. It's not a very big spot. It's Right where two trails meet, right on a ridge. It's a little grassy spot. And we got about 30 minutes before the sun goes down. Show y'all the oh, wow. view of the sunset we got here. Not sure how it's gonna it's turn out. It's all worth out. it, isn't it, when you do this? Well, even just like coming up around that corner and seeing that was like that was cool. the best feeling yeah, ever. <laughs> That was the coolest thing. Yeah, it's easy to get hooked. Oh. Easy to get hooked on. I think you got me hooked, Daddy. Yeah. This is all. Well, it's our second morning. How did you sleep, Nicole? It was okay at first. <laughs> did Kojak snore and keep you up all night? <laughs> yeah. Coach Jack's always being blamed. And he's saying, I ain't the one who cut the gas either. <laughs> I'm not the one that what? <laughs> cut the gas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we're fixing to have a beautiful sunrise here. Now, the sun rising behind me, this is probably one of the better open scenic views we've, campsites we've had. And last night we could see uh, somebody else's campfire way down over there in that valley flicker and they're probably on their way up to the mountain too. The mountain we're climbing today is behind here. You can't see it, but oh, about 10 more miles or so up to the top. But, well, we're gonna get packed up and head out. Oh, Jack's thirsty. We're out of water. These high elevations, you can't find water. We're kind of pushing it. That's similar to what he was eating down there. That's why mm -hmm. you know that. showed it to him. It's easy to get hooked on hiking when seeing this kind of stuff. Well, 
no quieter, other than it sounds like you're walking in potato chips. On our way to the top, there's snow on this side of the mountain. We still got about another, I don't know, maybe 800 more feet of elevation to the top. Yeah, thirsty. Thanks. Yeah, it'll start melting in the second stay. <laughs> We've been eating ice chips all along the way. It's real low on water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we still got a long way up yet. What he was doing when, we, when he first know. broke it off, and he was going and looking at it. It was, it was like, like something was stinging on. Yeah. Are right, we eating lunch on top of the mountain, or slam out, and still got a long day ahead of us yet. Not a whole lot of scenic views. The trees kind of block everything. <laughs> <laughs> Is there some water? <laughs> There's a little bit. I climbed a tree over there. I'm actually getting a little cold here because the sun is not on this. There was like this dead, there's like a big empty spot. There's a dead tree in the center. Slow motion because he uh, get his lips to the floor. If you did I got it, man. It looked cool. Yeah. But it's like, it's a better spot than this. It's like on the very top, and it's all It's better? Flat. Yeah. There we found us a water source. Real high up in elevation. Surprised we found anything. Gonna have to filter it, obviously. That'll be 4,000 feet here. Kojak waiting his turn to drink. Filtering <laughs> water. A scenic overview here. See if I can zoom in on a tree. There it is. Beautiful scenery. We've gone about halfway to our to where we're gonna uh, take our left. About halfway. And that that's a very swoop back and forth and down into a, a way down into the a valley up to a water source and then back up to the top, back down again, and then way back up. So sounds like fun. Yeah.
don't know what kind of tree that is, but it is some kind of massive. Huge, gotta be old growth. Yeah. Long way down that trail. Mile after mile. See our shadows going by off the ridge. Cole's got a blister on her foot where he put some mold skin on it. But we're gonna have to look at it. <laughs> and yeah. You got a blister. All right. That might get you hooked up. Move, boy. Is that the only place you need it? You think? Just. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, Jack. <laughs> He's always got to be part of the team. Looks like it might be red a little higher. You sure you don't oh, want me to do something hurt. right uh -oh. there? It's just that. Well, look, don't wait. If something starts hurting, I know. say I'll something. Be fine. Thank yeah, you. Put that sock on there. I think you need to make sure you tighten your shoe a little better, maybe to keep that from moving. your foot from moving inside your shoe. Because uh -huh. that's happening because your foot's coming up out and of the shoe in. and then back down in the shoe. That means your foot's not seated well in your shoe. Little waterfall stream along the way. But it's not bad, look. It is more water. Jack's done crossed six times. <laughs> he made four river crosses, he made ten. Yeah. Now we just left camp. Yeah. Beautiful views we got there. And now, beautiful ridge views here. Yeah, it's focusing on that tree. I mean, I can zoom in on a pine needle. There's a bird flying. Two of them. You said two of them? Mm -hmm. I only saw the one. Crazy. Ooh. Crazy beautiful. It's all right, Kojak. He's coming.
Well, we're down in the valley bottom, or almost anyway. It really got cold down here again. Well, we just checked the weather forecast, and uh, it has changed. It's we got about 30 minutes before it's going to rain for like two days. It's an 80% chance of rain mixed with some snow. So we're going to be having to cut it a day short. We were real close to dropping our backpacks and, uh, and walking this loop for the rest of the day and coming back and camping. But that's how it goes sometimes. Well, we'll see y'all on our next adventure. We appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.